Stop smoking regain your health. No one would say that it is easy to stop smoking. But since millions of people have successfully quit smoking, it simply means that kicking the tobacco habit is not impossible. Quitting smoking does not only make one feel better, it also entails making drastic yet positive changes in one's life. Putting an end to one's nicotine addiction will enable a person to have better health, gain savings by no longer spending on cigarettes, enhance social acceptance, and set a good example for the younger generation to follow. Taking care of one's health is the most obvious and equally the most important reason why a person should stop smoking. Almost everyone knows that smoking can cause lung cancer, but only a few know that smoking also increases the risk for other types of cancer, lung diseases, heart attacks, stroke, and peripheral vascular disease. The said habit also causes premature wrinkling of the skin, bad breath, yellow fingernails, pregnancy problems, miscarriage or low birth weight, and higher risks of heart attacks, stroke, and clot formation for women who uses oral contraceptives. It really does not matter how long one smoked, but as long as one stops smoking, this will definitely bring benefits to one's health. In fact, those who stopped smoking before 35 avoid 90% of the health risks associated with nicotine and tobacco. The next thing to consider would be the actual financial cost of smoking. Smoking is expensive, and the economic cost of smoking is estimated to be about $4,000 a year for an average smoker. Figure out how much a person spends on smoking by multiplying how much money is spent for tobacco each day by 365. Now multiply this by the number of years that a smoker used tobacco. This equals to how much one spends on smoking. Another way would be multiplying the amount spent per year by 10. This will be the cost if one keeps smoking for another 10 years. Think of other ways to spend that kind of money. This computation does not even include higher costs of health and life insurance, and the medical costs due to tobacco-related conditions. Smoking is less socially acceptable now that it was in the past. In fact, employers nowadays prefer to hire non-smokers. Some workplaces even restrict smoking. The reason for this is probably because past studies reveal that smoking employees cost businesses more because they are out sick more frequently. Smoking in a building also increases the maintenance costs of keeping cleanliness and odors at an acceptable level. Landlords, too, may choose not to rent to smokers since maintenance costs and insurance rates may rise when smokers occupy buildings. Friends may ask you not to smoke in their houses or cars. Public buildings, concerts, and even sporting events are largely smoke-free. And more and more communities are restricting smoking in all public places, including restaurants and bars. In fact, finding a place to smoke nowadays can be quite a hassle. It can be frustrating but that's only because smoking is an inconvenient habit. It is really much easier to stop smoking than try to change or adapt the circumstances, things, and people around you to. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and please click on the bell so you'll be updated on my next video. Thank you. We care for you ph. Your health comes first.